Hi, I'm Marcus Watson, centre for the England Sevens, uh, and this is a trunk circuit you might want to try at home. OK, Marcus, I just want you to come onto the floor, lie on the floor for me, on your chest. All right, good. All I want you to do is bring your elbows onto the floor, OK, excellent, and bring your toes up towards your knees, OK, that's it. You're going to maintain this position now, keeping your back flat at all times, knees together, and just hold that position. Focus on keeping your chin in tight, OK, looking down at all times, bracing from the arms, and keeping your back as straight as possible. OK, all I want you to do, as you've done, bring your elbow in underneath your shoulder blade for me, arm facing forward, excellent. One foot on top of the other directly, ankle bone to ankle bone, and then place your free arm on the side of your body, okay, in a straight line for me, excellent. All I want you to do from here is use your trunk to lift your hips off the floor. Okay, let's lift, good. And the focus should be that you're just holding yourself up through your elbow and your foot. Okay, so ankle, hip, and knee are all in a straight line. Using your abdominals to hold yourself in position. And keep bracing your core at all times and making sure that top Shoulder is braced and back at all times. Okay, Marcus, I want you to come down into your front, into the front plank position for me. I'm going to do a downward dog. Okay, so lift yourself up into the front, front plank. This is your start position. All I want you to do is push through your toes and push through your elbows to lift your hips as high as you can, keeping your back as flat as possible. So lift your hips to the sky. Push, 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 push. Hold for a second. And I want you to lower back to the start position and go no lower. So keep your abs tight on, okay, and lift yourself up again. Good, and you really want to prevent yourself sagging in your back on that way down. All I want you to do is bring your knees together and you're going to keep them slightly bent with your heels flat on the floor. Bring your toes up towards your knees, excellent. All you're going to do there is straighten your back, okay, good, and hold yourself at 45 degrees, just that's excellent, okay. Hands out in front of you. All you're going to do from there is rotate 90 degrees towards your right and work back to the middle and work to the other side and back to the middle and keep repeating that and you're looking to keep your back flat at all times just using your trunk to rotate left to right keeping yourself in a good position with your chest up at all times good back to the middle and relax okay just to get in the start position you're going to put your hands up pointing to the sky and then bring your knees up to 90 degrees with your hip at 90 also excellent from this position you're going to activate your lower abs keeping your back flat against the floor. I want you to extend your right arm and your left leg out as far away from each other as possible. Let's go. Keep your abs on at all times and then bring back to the start position and swap sides. The idea is that your back does not sag and you keep your abs on at all times when you extend your arm and leg away from each other. All right, all I want you to do is put your hands out to your side at around 45 degrees. Okay, good. Relax your head back and lift your legs up with a slight knee bend. All you're going to do is use your abs to lift your hips off the floor and then lower slowly. Okay, so if you could bring your feet over towards your chin and then lift your hips up off the floor. Excellent. Good control. Your lower back, repeat for me. Your lower back should stay flat at all times. Okay, and keep repeating that through.